Hi, Dr. Christensen here and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how quick and simple it is to make your own fermented vegetables, better known as sauerkraut. The idea is, is traditionally is fairly labor intensive. I'm going to show you a quick easy way that works nearly every time for me. The idea is, is that we're not going to pound the vegetables. Traditionally we would use a, a sauerkraut pounder and we would pound the smithereens out of the vegetables as we added salt. What we're going to do is something much more efficient and I think produces a much better result. The idea is quite simple. We simply chop our vegetables. Sauerkraut of course means sour cabbage. And so I've got some, some cabbage here. We're going to add to the bowl. I've chopped up some carrots. I like carrots for, for a little bit of color. Some celery. And then a couple types of onions. Simply add it to your bowl. Mix everything around. And this is where it gets interesting. You can add whatever herbs or spices you like. I make one that I call Scarborough Fair, which of course has parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. And it's a great sauerkraut, especially if you can find the herbs fresh. Today we're going to make, however, what we call Cordido. It's a Latin American sauerkraut. The, the herbs and spices we use are oregano. And so I put a tablespoon or so of oregano and then some crushed chili pepper and we, we sprinkle that in. You can use as much or as little as you would like. Simply mix, mix that around and I'm ready to put it in the jar. I use my canning spatula and just begin stuffing the jar. Once my jar is stuffed, I'm going to use my kraut pounder and, and simply use that in, in the jar to pound it down. You see I've got more room now. I'm going to add some more vegetables. And the rule is, is we can pack it as tight as, as tight as we can. Again, traditionally, you're going to be pounding and mixing it with salt. We're going to add salt at the end. And we're going to be able to put just about, just about everything that we, we prepared for in this two-quart canning jar. And so, so you see here, um, we, get, we get quite a bit into this jar. I'm going to pound it down or just smash it down just one more time. And, and we're, we're, ready, we're ready to add the, the salt. What I like to do is I like to make my own brine. And so I've got four cups of, of water here. And to four cups of water, I'm going to add two tablespoons of salt. So the ratio, of course, is one tablespoon of, of sea salt to each two cups of water. I, I mix that to help dissolve the salt. and then I'm going to pour in the jar. What the salt does is the salt acts as a preservative and it also helps to to break down the the cabbage. And so about four cups there. I'm going to fill it not quite to the top. Next I'm going to add my airlock lid. These airlock lids are something that we make. They're, they're, they're absolutely wonderful. We, we simply use the, the, the plastic Tatler canning lids, set that down with the gasket. We use the, the airlock lids. You notice that there's, there's water filled in there. That allows the, the gas, the carbon dioxide, to escape and it prevents any bacteria or mold or anything from, from coming in. We, we simply give it a light 
twist. You don't want to force that down too much and, and we're ready to go. Let me, let me grab a, a ring to put around there and we'll be all set. Okay, and so finally we, we put the, the canning ring around and, and that's it. You can begin eating your sauerkraut. After about three or four days, you'll see a lot of activity, a lot of bubbles coming up as it, as it ferments. The benefits of sauerkraut are innumerable. The lactic acid produces is actually very, very healthy for the digestive tract. The probiotics that are created are wonderful. Oh, I forgot one, one thing. And this isn't necessary, but it, but it is, is helpful. Sometimes we like to give it a little kickstart. And so we could use something as, as the, the Caldwell's starter culture and put a little bit of that in. It adds the probiotics. Or what I will do more often is I will add a little bit from a previous batch of sauerkraut. And so I've got some sauerkraut I made a while ago, rich in probiotics. I'm just going to put a tablespoon, maybe, maybe a little bit more in there. I'll give it another pound. Put my lid back on and it's ready to go. Probiotic rich, great for your digestion, great for your health, easy to make and absolutely delicious. People who, who say they don't like sauerkraut find they love this. Very, very mild. You can let it, let it sit for, for three or four days, up to six months. And once it's done, we keep it in the fridge. Um, try this at home, very easy. If you need the airlock lids, uh, go to our webpage and you can get them through us. Very inexpensive. Reuse them again and again.